This is the first time on my channel that I am like verbally saying that I am a homosexual. <laughs> What's up, Johnson family? My name is Cedric, and today, you guys, this video shouldn't be too long. I'm not gonna ramble or anything. I just wanna tell you guys this story. Literally, this is the first time on my channel that I am like verbally saying that I am a homosexual. <laughs> so it feels really weird. It just, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So I told you guys that I'm gonna be doing more personal videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but I'm changing that. It's gonna be now Tuesdays and Saturdays because it just works out with my schedule and whatever. So Tuesday, Saturday, personal, personality, Personal videos, me, more of me. <laughs> I literally came out in like chunks, and so I'm gonna try to condense everything, keep it short, sweet, to the point. I don't think it's crazy interesting because it's like my life, but maybe you guys may think otherwise. And if you wanna see more of me, please do not hesitate to subscribe. Please like if you liked it, and please comment and let me know what you thought. My social links will be all in the description below, and check out my merch if you have a chance. And yeah, without further ado, I'm ready, and if you're ready, let's get into it. So growing up, <laughs> growing up, I was always, no, I'm just joking. So when I was younger, I knew that something was different. Like, I knew that I was gay. I knew that I liked guys at least. I don't know if it was like, like solely guys. I don't know if I was bisexual or not, but I I knew that I liked guys in the beginning of middle school. And when I was younger, I just, I, I didn't have a lot of gay representation. Like when, when things would come on the TV that's gay, either I would turn the channel because I didn't want people to like be thinking about me or looking at me or whatever, or like someone else would turn the channel because they just didn't want to watch it, which is like whatever. But like, it just, I always felt this weird energy, this weird vibe when it came to, to gayness and just men liking men. The light just changed, that's cute. Um, but yeah, so it just, my family was also very, like, they're not as religious now. They still believe in God and everything. It's just back then, we were going to church every single Sunday. We were always like helping out the church with like um, like food drives and like, you know, just, just different stuff because my grandma was like seen as someone who was high up in the church. And so we were always out in the church doing stuff. I always had a feeling my mom knew, but it's just something that we would never actually like discuss or talk about. She never really asked me about like girlfriends. She never really asked me about relationship and stuff because I think that she just knew that I was like, there was something different. I was, I was struggling with something. There was something going on to where she, I, I think, I genuinely think, I haven't asked her, but I genuinely think that she consciously made like a decision. Like I'm not gonna be asking him and pressuring him about this stuff because I don't even know what's happening. So this is the first chunk. This is when my dad first found out. And when I tell you this whole situation was just so ridiculous. So we lived in an apartment and at the time, my dad had a best friend. He lived down the street from us for a little while and then he moved in with us because he was going through like some financial hardships or whatever. And so he was staying in our house with us basically. And so super cool guy, I don't, I know his name, but I don't think I can say his name. So I just won't say his name, but super cool guy, whatever. Like I said before, I didn't have a lot of gay representation. I didn't see gay people on TV as often. I didn't see them. I didn't really see them out in the open and it, I saw even less black gay men, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I didn't really see it at all. And so the only like, <laughs> this is so embarrassing to talk about, but the only like gayness or gay representation that I would be able to get was porn. And I know, I don't, I'm not recommending, I'm not like suggesting that you go out and watch porn, but that's literally all that I have. Like nowadays we have like different gay people on shows and stuff like that. But back then, like I didn't really watch too much TV. When I did, it was not gay. And I knew that there was something about me that was different. I, I knew that I, that I had a, a certain attraction to guys. Even if I didn't know that like, I would eventually want to marry a guy and whatever, I just, I knew that it, it, there was something gay there. <laughs> so yeah, being the smart minor that I was, I would look at this porn on the family computer. <laughs> and I feel like nowadays, if I, were to try, if I was trying to do that and like hide it nowadays, I would probably like delete the browser history, like delete the search history, whatever. But back then I was just, I just assumed that I would go and look at Wee Wee's and no one would like, see it. I'm literally like racking up search history for all these different porn sites. And I don't think it was like, I wasn't like watching porn and like masturbating or anything. I was just watching it just to, to, to experience like the intimacy and the connection between like two men. Like I, I just wanted to see it. I wanted to, to know that it was possible. Like I was just curious. I was just a curious little kid. Usually I would just close all the applications, turn off the computer and then go to bed or whatever. And so there was one night where I heard my parents arguing. I heard them arguing back and forth in the room, like yelling. I didn't know what it was about. I didn't really necessarily care. I think I was like playing a video game or something. I just was like acknowledging, oh, they're arguing right now. And then I heard a little tidbit. I heard like a little, like my mom, I guess she had went on the computer and like was trying to like look up something or whatever. <laughs> 
and she saw it. Like, I guess I didn't, like, close out of one of them, so I just, like, put the computer, like, I thought I shut it down, but I really just put it to sleep. And so I guess as soon as she got on the computer, like, boom! <laughs> I was just not smart. I was just not thinking. And so I, when she opened the computer, strictly dickly, and she got mad because she assumed that it was my dad's best friend. She thought that he was in the house looking at porn and whatever, and I don't know if she had like an issue with the fact that he was doing it, but it was mostly like, you brought your friend into our house, I said it was okay, cool, and now he's in our house watching porn with all of my kids here. Like, what if one of my kids had gone on the computer and saw that? Not knowing that one of your kids did go through. She was just trying to be a mom, whatever. And so yeah, during the argument, I heard her yelling at him like, Did you know that he was this? Or did you know that he was like on our computer doing this or whatever? They were going back and forth for a while. And then you guys, the next thing that I heard come out of my dad's mouth literally shocked me. Like it, it made my heart like drop out of my butt. Like he was just like, Have you thought about the fact that it may be your son? <sighs> <gasps> like, I was so shook, you guys. I was just, I was literally playing the game like. I was so, like, scared because I knew that it was only a matter of time before someone came into my room and was like, we need to talk. Like, I just, I just knew it. My ear was, like, to the door, like, oh, what's next? What are we talking about? Luckily for me, they didn't come and talk to me right then and there. They just kind of went on about the business and whatever. I knew it was still on their mind, and it was on my mind, too, obviously, but I just... I think that they wanted to wait and decide how they were going to, to bring this up to me. So there was one night that I was watching TV. I'm almost positive that I was watching Charmed because that's literally all that I used to watch all the time. Charmed. My mom comes in the room with the computer. We, it was a laptop. She comes in with the laptop and she's just like, hey. <laughs> I was like, hey mom, what's up? Just watching Piper and Prune, Phoebe, whatever. And she was just like, so we need to talk. And I was like, okay, like, what about? Like, I'm, like, playing dumb or whatever. And she was just like, so I found something on the computer, and I, I want to discuss it with you. I was like, okay, so cool, sounds good. And then she literally, like, opened the computer and brought the thing up, which I thought was really ballsy, because what if it actually was my dad's friend? And then, like, she just opens the computer, like, what's this? And it's just, like, a bunch of, like, dicks. Like, And so she opened it, she's like, so do you recognize this? Like, what? And I was just like... No, like, what are you talking about? Like, Bob, what? what? I'm, a, I'm a Christian. Like, what are you talking about? And she was just like, Cedric, don't lie to me. Like, I, I know. Like, I, I know. Like, I know. And so I think that I, I still, even after she said that she knew, I still, like, tried to lie. Like, no, Mom, you don't understand. Like, I literally pressed the G on the, the screen, and, you know, that's just what came up. Like, it just came up. Like, I was really reaching. Like, I was reaching. And she, after, like, her constantly being like, Cedric, stop lying. Like, I, I like, just stop lying. Like, I know that this, this was you. Like, I can tell by your demeanor that this was you and that you're lying to me. I was just kind of dead sitting there. And my, my mom, like, she knew that I didn't want to talk about it and that I was uncomfortable talking about it. My mom is the best. But she, she knew that I was uncomfortable talking about it. So she literally was just like, don't do it again. I do not want to see this on my computer again. And if I do, there's going to be an issue. And I said, okay, mom, I'm sorry. Like, okay, I understand. Like, ugh. And the, she went back to the room with my dad and then went to bed or whatever. I was shook. I was like, oh my gosh, like, she knows, but like, She's okay with it, but is she not okay with it? Like, she didn't say that she was okay with it, but she didn't say that she was not okay with it. Like, what do I do? Like, my mind was going in so many different directions. And literally, like, school for the next week, I was just constantly thinking about this and how this was gonna, like, play out. I just put all this pressure on myself that, like, that everything had to be figured out right now, which it doesn't. Like, you, like I, I, I should have just relaxed. If I could have gone back and told myself anything, I would just tell myself to just, just relax. Like, just enjoy life. If you're gonna actually follow your passion and follow who you're attracted to, that, that will come up later on promise so like just just chill and do your own thing i wish i could have told myself that so if you're watching and you're young relax relax so that was the first chunk now the second chunk this is when things blew up like literally spiraled out of control okay so my dad first off when i say my dad i'm, I'm referring to my stepdad i've always called him my dad he's my father like i consider him to be like the best like that is my father my biological dad i haven't talked to him in six to eight years and when i say talking to him literally by talking to him i mean like he sent me like a birthday card and then the birthday card literally only had his name and like four dollar coins like i don't consider that he's just he's ridiculous but that's a whole a whole nother video so i don't remember exactly how this got started i know that um, me and my dad had a like a, a week or two where we were just like consistently fighting like it was just it was a lot of 
back and forth about little stuff like chores and you know just little things that parents and kids argue about and so I don't know if I decided that this was the right time to have this conversation or if they brought me into the room I can't really remember and I don't really want to call them an ass so <laughs> Either I brought it up or they told me to come in the room, but I got, eventually I ended up in their bedroom. And so my dad starts asking me questions about, you know, gayness and, you know, homosexuality and all this stuff. And I started to kind of explain and then he just like immediately started saying like, so why would you choose this? What do, what do you get out of this? And I'm just like, I mean, I didn't, I, I, I don't know, I didn't. And from my understanding, I didn't choose it. I'm just, I'm just going with the flow of what I was, you know, given. He just kept saying that. Why would you choose this? Like, this is one of the dumbest choices you've done. You know you're going to go to hell. You know you're not going to convince me that you're not going to go to hell. Like, like you're literally choosing to have a, a horrible life. And I remember being like, why in the hell would I choose to have a harder life? Like, that's what I, I never will understand how people, most of the time, when I hear people say that being gay is a choice, it's coming from straight people, which is crazy to me because I would never, I would never go to a woman and tell them how their experience is or what they did, you know? Like, I would never go to, go to, go to someone that's part of a group that I'm not a part of and try to, try to, to tell them what they are instead of listening and trying to understand where they are from their mouth, you know? Like, you can't tell me this is something that I just sat down and one day was like, you know what, honestly, that gay stuff, that sounds popping. I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. Like, no, like, it, it frustrates me when people say things like that because it's like, you don't try to understand, like, listen before you try to just tell someone what they decided. Like, that's just, that is so ridiculous to me. But the conversation was just going on and on and on about, why would you decide this? And then I would say, well, I didn't decide this. I'm just literally going with the flow. And he's like, no, like you're making a conscious decision to go to, to you know, be, not be in relationships. At that time I was not in a relationship or I hadn't been in a relationship, but you're making a conscious decision to pursue men, to, to look at men in a, you know, attractive, like sexual, like romantic sense. And I'm like, I'm not, like, I may be choosing that action, but that action is based off of my, like, emotion and my feelings and what I feel inside. Like, for all the straight people out there, right now, if you are a woman, would you just go, like, could you just make the decision to go and marry a woman? Technically you could, but you would probably not be too happy, right? Same with men. Could you go right now and marry a man? Depending on what state you're in. But could you go and, like, get into a relationship with a man. Like, yes, you have that option. You have that, that is an action, that is a choice. You can actually go and do that. But are you going to enjoy it? No, because it's not based off of your, like, authentic attraction. It's not based off of what you are, are, are authentically attracted to. He just would not get it. And then it turned into, like, but mind you, this whole time, my mom is just kind of, like, sitting and she's just kind of listening and observing and whatever. And so I just, I would constantly be looking to her for, like, backup like mom help like I'm trying to like you know like I'm just trying to talk to dad and I'm trying to to get this through to him and it turned into him feeling like I was trying to like to what's the word like I'm trying to like push my lifestyle on him he was dead set on being confused as to why I would make this decision for myself based just because in his head it's like I'm making this decision because it looks fun and because it's exciting and whatever like it's just it was just so ridiculous and then eventually my mom kind of stepped in she was just like this is what we've grown up believing this is these this is our belief system like we like it's we're not going to be able to just like say okay cool we understand everything which i understood it just it was a really really tough conversation and i um i broke down i cried it was it was just a lot to handle i spent so freaking long trying to like hide it and trying to like force myself not to i dated girls like I, I've tried it. I genuinely have tried not being this way and it makes me unhappy. So I'm not going to continue to do things that make me unhappy. Like to me it was logical, but to them it was it was me going against my faith and going against, you know, everything that I've been taught and everything that I, you know, was taught to believe in. I didn't talk to my parents or really have like a like a, a, a natural flowing conversation for like one or two days after that. Um, and then it got to the point where my mom was just like she she I think she took me to the side and was like Cedric, like this is not okay. Like, we are still your family. While we don't understand this, we are still your family and we are still going to, to we, we still love you. We still, we still want the best for you. We still want you to be happy. And after that, everything just kind of died down a little bit. We, we you know, we got back into the flow of having regular conversations and I, I, I felt some type of way still about my dad and what he had said and how it made me feel and everything. But after speaking to my mom, I knew that he wasn't coming from a place of like, I hate you or like, 
I hate who you are, and then like that he was just trying to like he just didn't get it, and it was frustrating to to him that he couldn't get it, and that we weren't you know we just we weren't on the same page, you know what I'm saying? And so when I started to to date people and to get hurt and all that stuff, like. I would always go to my mom about this stuff. Like I would always go to her because she was the one who would listen. She would give me like proper advice. She would she wouldn't judge me. Like I, I just I didn't feel comfortable talking to my dad about this stuff because I knew how he was with this stuff. And there was one uh, one day that he he came up to me and was just like, "Why don't you talk to me about anything?" My dad was very like masculine, very butch, very like you know I'm a man, <laughs> and I I felt like. Any talk about relationships or love or romance or anything like that was a more non-masculine thing to discuss and so I wouldn't want to talk about it with him because I felt like he wouldn't even want to hear it. And so that's why I would go to my mom about everything because I knew that I could talk to her about anything and I still know that I could talk to her about anything. And so my dad came to me one day and he was just like, hey, like, why don't you talk to me? And I explained it to him and he was like, I don't want you to feel this way. I, I, while I don't necessarily understand everything, there's no way that I'm going to be able to understand everything if you are consistently hiding things from me and going to your mom first and then I have to like hear it through your mom, how you're hurting and I want to be there for you, I want to help you. <sighs> and it made me so happy, you guys. Genuinely, that conversation was... It was everything because the, I do want to talk to my dad. I do want to hear my mom and my dad's opinion on different things. And I, I wanted, I, they've both been through life. You know, they both have had plenty of life experience. And so I, I really, really wanted to, I, I, I wanted that connection with both of them. And I felt like for a while I only had it with my mom. And I feel like part of that was because she came first and I grew up with her and then my stepdad came later. But I still value both of them as my like biological parents. And so, it just, that conversation was just, it, it literally like changed my whole, like my world. Like it just made me really, really happy. And so from that point on, I started asking him questions about, you know, I'm like, should I text him back? And he's like, did he respond? I'm like, no, it's like, then don't text him back. Like, don't be that guy. Like my dad genuinely was starting to like, to help and he was starting to be inclusive and he was, I'm getting goosebumps. Like it just, it made me so freaking excited and happy that we were like in a really good place and I could start, I could, I could just be me. I could just have fun and make jokes and talk with my hands and I didn't have to like hide myself and I didn't have to like, I didn't have to hide myself. Like I could be myself in my home. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me throughout this video. It means a lot to me and I will see you guys in the next one.